so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel now in this video we are going to understand the architecture of a data mining system now in the previous video we have studied about the ADD process so if you haven't watched this that video then I will suggest you watching that video because in order to understand this you first have to have the knowledge of the KDD process and how it takes place now in this video we are going to understand the architecture of a basic data mining system so this is general architecture and if it is asked in exam, then you have to draw this. So this video is particularly about the sen 6, the subject which is data warehouse and mining. In that, there is a subtopic known as architecture of data mining system. So today we are going to look into it. So let's get started with our video. So we, we are going to start from here. Now the first is we are going to fetch the data from the database. So we have database as well as the data warehouse. Now the next we have is data warehouse and database server. So now uh, what this means is suppose we have to find a particular data or we have to fetch a data. So basically the user will what we do we just uh, react with the GUI and GUI gives us output. That's only the thing which we can which we see. But in the internal workings these are the steps which basically happen when we fetch for a particular data. So the data which the user wants, it is it, 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 it will be fetched by the data warehouse server and while fetching the data warehouse server, data filtering, data cleaning and all that stuff will be done like we studied in the previous KDD process and data reduction, data cleaning, all the variables will have like same declarations and all that kind of stuff that will be done already. Then the data warehouse server will fetch the data from the database or data warehouse depending upon where the data is. Next is the data mining engine. Uh, it will like run basic depending upon the data which you want. It will run the particular algorithm and the data mining engine with the help of knowledge base. So knowledge base is basically helpful for searching the data and it can reveal patterns in our data like the particular patterns which you want. So that with the help of data mining algorithm which will give us the particular data which we want. So there are various data mining algorithms as we have dealt it in the previous video. Like it is not important but data mining algorithms can be pattern matching, clustering and all that stuff. Now the mine data will be evaluated. So the data which we get or the patterns which we get would be evaluated. We will see whether the pattern are according to the field that we want or they are wrong so that is pattern evaluation and then we have GUI so the GUI is basically the graphical user interface which you basically interact with the database so this is the basic architecture of a data mining system from database to data mining server then data mining algorithm then pattern evaluation and finally GUI so this is and the knowledge base so this was the basic architecture of a data mining system. Now this architecture will change according to the data which we want or the uses of the data mining system. But this was the general architecture. And if you have any doubts, then do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching guys and we'll meet you in the next video.